Dr. Mokos, please help me. You've got to help me, please. I'm okay, supposed okay, to be in a movie. A movie. Okay, uh, okay. Now, who is it that you're supposed to be anyway? Tell me. Emma Watson. <laughs> oh, 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 you're serious. Don't worry, dear. I think we can beat that face. With makeup? Yeah, sure. Makeup. Assistant Hammer! Oh, I think yeah, I made it awesome worse. Time for Sandy. So Thank you, Assistant. Space Cowboys is Seasonal Frostbite, and welcome to Mad Scientist Doll Customs, where I take another doll and give it new life! <laughs> Whew. So today, uh, before we get started, we're gonna roast this doll real quick. Okay, so let's get started. You know what? She must be from the bootleg version of this movie, Inner Beauty and the Beast. Can you guess which one she is? Beast! Oh my god. How many foreheads is she supposed to have? Like 12? Mm, her hairline looks like Moses parted the Red Sea. You know what? She needs that LeBron James hair treatment. Have you seen that? Mm. This is not what they mean when they say beat her face. Ugh. Man, she looks like Lord Farquaad had a sex change operation. I mean, look at that face. Oh, my God. Come on. Don't make fun of her. She's the queen of Mars. <laughs> okay, one more. One more, guys. One more. One more. I got a billion. I got a billion. When hashtag team no makeup goes wrong. Ha! <laughs> Woo! But don't worry, girl. I know Disney snatch your edges, but we gonna fix that today. So the first thing we're gonna do is, before we take care of these edges, girl, we gonna talk about this neck hole. It's just a little bit too much, okay? We're just gonna sand it down just slightly. Okay, a lot. We're gonna sand it down a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Because this looks really bad on the doll. It makes it look like she's got like a fat neck or something. And she already has a slender neck. I don't understand why they added extra neck piece here. So we're just going to remove it. And then we're going to go ahead and rebody our doll. As usual, all the materials can be found in the description box below. Next, we're going to take some 400 grit sandpaper and we're just going to smooth out all those scratches and bumps. Smooth it nice and smoothy, smoothy, smooth here. And then we're going to start our rebodying process. By the way, I did not forget about our 4,000 subscriber giveaway that will be coming up soon. I chose purple top because it seemed like a good match here and I'm just going to stick that on there. Really simple. It fits perfectly. And I'm gonna cut off a little piece of her hair right here, baby. Right here. I'm gonna glue that shit like all on the sides here. I'm only going, she, her hairline's not that bad. I'm just gonna move it up just a quarter that much. It's not even an inch, it's not even a quarter of an inch, it's really tiny. And this is what it looks like when you get one side done, and this is what it looks like when you finish all the sides. Alright, but don't forget to add a little bit to the top. Um, I made the the top bangs or forehead a little bit longer so it looks a little bit natural. So now we can start, uh, I guess, move, you know, doing her face here. So I've got some acetone here and I'm going to start removing that hideous face. I'm also using my handmade mongols and seven reference photos. Yes, seven reference photos. She looks different in every picture with makeup, so I chose pictures where she didn't have a lot of makeup um, and her freckles were still showing. Something very natural. And, okay guys, yes, I skipped ahead because uh, this tutorial would be like 20 minutes long if I showed you all my fuck ups, but we're not going to do that, okay? You're, we're going to skip ahead. So I did do the lips. I started off with an orange color, so you know she was looking fine. I started out with orange so she was looking fine so you know we're gonna fast forward it really um you know i did some lines and i did that and i sprayed a couple things to msc but dude i made her look dead i mean i know she looks great sorta kinda in hg but on my phone she was horrifying okay i didn't understand that white people have it browns don't go with their skin like that unless it's eyeshadow because underneath it looked like she had bags but she does have those in real life but uh it took me a while to realize that the doll 
does a lot of the work for you because it's a really good oh, a head mold like they scan Emma Watson's face okay so I'm gonna utilize that eventually so um, I think I actually kept these eyes the way I wanted to so I using a really really well I'm using the psycho brush and you guys know that's from Ar army warm painter the only i like it but it loses hairs way too easily as you can see it's got one hair on here so it doesn't hold much paint and it's pretty it's just pretty shitty it's shitty i need to find a different micro brush if you have a recommendation that's not a uh, nail polish stuff okay i promise you it's just not the same when those itty bitty micro details but if you do leave it down below let me know i could use a new brush I mean, this one's like seven dollars. So you, um, I'm using actually a light to dark gray for the bottom lashes here, and I want to talk about the face up as much as possible. But um, I, um, my paintbrush broke, so you can see I'm marking where I want the eyes here, and I, there's not much to really talk about here. Um, I messed up a bunch of times and as you can see I had to go in with a bunch of different colors and I actually ended up um, redoing the whole entire blushing which you'll see because she looks like an old man here and um, I'm going in and adding my eyelashes and I get to the point where uh, I got sick of you know trying to use my um, look there goes with that brown again it looks awful I don't know what I was doing okay I was tired or I was just I needed to go slower Take your time when you're doing these types of repaints. Um, never stray from your reference photo, which I didn't stray from it. I just didn't think very clearly that repaints like this, the mold, the face mold does most of the work for you. So utilize that, which um, I'm going to have to remove all this blushing eventually. And I don't know where we'll get, if we'll get there yet, but I did um, add a nice pale color on the inner linings of her eyes um, I thought that looks really cool so here's the needle here I got so frustrated with trying to use that brush with the one hair that I ended up going in with my pupils with a needle I know it's it's like seasonal frostbite uh, like, like what two years ago it's old school okay but it works for what you you know for those micro details that you just can't get besides triple thick what's gonna cover up all this you know the the chunky paint it's gonna make it look smooth and she'll look more realistic but as you can see I'm taking my time going in with those eyes because the eyes is what's really gonna sell this custom it's really gonna make it look like Emma Watson um, but yeah that's that's basically it that's all I gotta say for, for right now all right so you can see she looks weird I'm still going to continue on with the eyes because I did get the eyes the way I wanted to at this step. It was looking pretty fabulous by then and I was actually afraid to start over but you should never be afraid to start over. Uh, look at that. The eyes eh, still could use some work but I'm don't worry. I'm working on it. I am working on it. Okay, I'm working on it. But, uh, yeah, from far away, she looks great. But we're going to remove this blushing because I think I made her look too old. Uh, the brown was not a big idea. But do you see how much better she looks? Just taking off all the blushing I did, all that hard work. And I, it took me a while to realize that the face mold does most of the work for you since it looks, it's supposed to be like a 3D scan of her face. And um, work with it, you know. So I'm going to take my large blending blush here. And I'm using like orange Mungyo soft pastels, okay? Um, I'm using that right out the tube and it's making a nice feathered look to it. And I'm actually adding some pinks and it all it all blushes out to like a pink color. And I'm also using this reddish pink color to get into the fold lines where she has her little wrinkles um, with her smile lines that she has. And her more prominent features. And I think that really just sells it, you know, but I'm still not happy with these details. And I think right now, um, I'm going to be redoing this blushing for like a third time. I think I redid it like maybe three or four times. 
um, I'm going in and adding the freckles. I'm, I'm also making sure to add the ones that are like, not necessarily freckles, they're moles, like this little cute little mole on her chin. And there's a couple of freckles that stand out a little more. But now I'm going to redo the eyebrows because I was, this is not selling it. Eyebrows are important, okay? They're important. So once they're sanded off, um, by the way, I do do a little bit of bloody body blushing. I do do some of that. But um, while I'm doing that, uh, guys, bruh, let me redo these eyebrows, okay? As you can see, I already went in and added the pink like I talk talked about. I think this is the final stage of blushing. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. Uh, now it doesn't look like you know this it doesn't look like no I'm not satisfied with this so most likely I've been doing this over and over and over and over all night okay but I will say I did go in with different dark shades of the soft pastel and darken the hair to match the eyebrows because I felt like they picked a, a lighter color than her actual hair color so I added some blacks and some dark browns in there and I'm not sure if I'm happy with her face just yet. Yeah, I think that's good. Nope, we're gonna go in with some triple thick and this is going to get rid of all those bumpy, bumpy paint marks that you did from the uh, needle. If you have a brush, just use the brush, girl. Use that brush. And um, I'm going to go in with some satin varnish for her lips and then um it's gonna dry like a satin color and i'm actually gonna highlight her lips with a little bit of white and go in once the satin finish dries and add a little bit of more you know lip marks for you know realism or whatever and then i'm gonna add some more triple thick and i'm not gonna put it all over i'm just going to put it in little spots so it just looks like a little shininess a little dewy dewy lip thing going on oh god i, I sound like an artist sometimes when i talk sometimes other times I just sound ratchet who cares so there you see look at that look at that realism bruh realism now the only thing I would say I would change now um, of course I'm going in with some blushing I see like I've never done with the blushing I'm doing some blushing on the forehead um, I would add more contour to her nose I feel like they made the nose a little bit bigger but as you can see we rebodied her and we're gonna put her in a new dress and we're done if you like this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. See you, Space Cowboys. Thanks for watching. Do you love my work? Are you liking this? Did you ever subscribe? Did you thumbs up? I heard you subscribed. Is it true? Are you a patron? If not, please donate too. And you say, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. I subscribe. I subscribe, it's alright, you say hell yeah